SpaceX has just marked its 123rd Falcon 9 mission of 2025, launching 24 Starlink satellites from California and landing the booster flawlessly at sea. While it might sound routine, this launch reveals the incredible pace of reusable rockets and the growing reach of Starlink's mega constellation. In this video, we'll dive into the mission details and unpack what nearly 8,500 active satellites mean for global internet coverage. The September 26th launch was another polished display of precision from SpaceX. At 12.26 a.m. Eastern Time, for 26 Greenwich Mean Time, 9.26 p.m. Local Time in California, a Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base, carrying 24 Starlink satellites toward low Earth orbit. The mission unfolded smoothly, highlighting the consistency that has become a trademark for these flights. The rocket's first stage booster, B-1082, separated and made a controlled descent to the drone ship Of Course I Still Love You, stationed in the Pacific Ocean. This marked the 16th flight for B-1082, an achievement that underscores SpaceX's success with reusability. Even more striking, 12 of those flights were dedicated specifically to Starlink launches, showing how much this booster has contributed to building out the constellation. Meanwhile, the rocket's second stage continued its journey, preparing to release the satellites about 62.5 minutes after launch. Once deployed, the satellites were expected to maneuver into their operational slots gradually. Each addition strengthens the overall coverage and capacity of the Starlink system. What sets this mission apart isn't just its technical execution, but the way it demonstrates SpaceX's ability to maintain high-frequency launches with reliability. Launching dozens of satellites in a single flight, recovering the booster, and prepping it for reuse all combined into a cycle that few aerospace organizations have achieved. The operation illustrates how far the industry has come. What once seemed extraordinary has become standard practice. In summary, this mission was more than a routine flight. It showcased reusability in action, contributing to Starlink's rapid growth and emphasizing the operational rhythm that SpaceX established in 2025. SpaceX's Falcon 9 has set an unprecedented benchmark for launch activity in 2025. With this flight, the rocket has now flown 123 times this year, a number that eclipses the annual totals of most other space programs. To highlight the intensity of this schedule, consider that 15 of those missions occurred in September alone. This extraordinary pace is possible because Falcon 9 was designed for reusability and rapid turnaround. Booster B-1082's 16th flight in this mission is proof that refurbishing and relaunching rockets is no longer experimental. It's a proven, reliable process. Each reused booster reduces costs, accelerates timelines, and feeds valuable data back into engineering, further improving the system's efficiency. Over 70% of Falcon 9's launches this year have been dedicated to Starlink demonstrating how closely SpaceX ties its rocket business to building its own satellite network. By maintaining such a high launch rate, the company not only expands Starlink but also lowers per launch expenses, reinforcing a cycle where rapid cadence funds further growth. Comparisons highlight just how far Falcon 9 has pulled ahead. China remains the closest competitor in raw launch numbers. But the regular recovery and reuse of boosters puts SpaceX in its own category. What also deserves mention is the logistical backbone enabling this record pace. SpaceX operates multiple pads in Florida and California, maintains drone ships on both coasts, and employs a streamlined refurbishment pipeline that allows boosters to be turned around in weeks. This network of facilities and procedures is just as critical as the rockets themselves. In effect, Falcon 9 is not just a rocket. It's a launch ecosystem that is redefining access to orbit. The September 26th mission was another milestone in this record-breaking year, showing how frequent, reliable launches are now the standard for the world's most active rocket. Starlink's mega constellation is rapidly becoming one of the most transformative infrastructures in orbit. Following this mission, the number of active Starlink satellites has climbed to nearly 8,500, according to satellite tracker and astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell. This scale is unprecedented. Just a decade ago, the total number of operational satellites worldwide was far smaller than Starlink alone. The benefits of such growth are immediate. Starlink's coverage now spans regions that were previously underserved, 
from remote deserts and mountain villages to ships at sea and polar communities. Each new cluster of satellites improves signal strength, lowers latency, and reduces gaps in the network. For users on the ground, that translates to faster, more reliable internet service where traditional infrastructure is impractical. The system is already supporting hundreds of thousands of subscribers, with adoption continuing to climb across continents. Resilience is another key advantage. With thousands of satellites forming a web in low Earth orbit, the system is highly resistant to single-point failures. If one satellite drifts or deorbits, traffic can be rerouted seamlessly across others, maintaining service continuity. This redundancy is critical for institutions and organizations that rely on uninterrupted connectivity, especially in industries such as aviation, shipping, and emergency response. However, scale introduces new challenges. Orbital management becomes increasingly complex as satellites must avoid collisions and adhere to international guidelines on debris. SpaceX has implemented automated collision avoidance systems and designed its satellites for controlled reentry. But as numbers grow, global cooperation will be vital. Astronomers have also raised concerns about Starlink's brightness in the night sky, which can affect long exposure observations. SpaceX has experimented with darker coatings and sunshades to reduce reflectivity, though balancing visibility with performance remains ongoing work. Despite these hurdles, Starlink continues to move closer to becoming a global communications backbone. The September 26th launch didn't just add 24 satellites. It advanced a project that is reshaping how humanity thinks about internet access, connectivity, and the role of space-based infrastructure in everyday life. But what is Starlink? More than just a constellation, it's a mega constellation now boasting nearly 8,500 active satellites, each contributing to a global internet network. SpaceX's September 26th mission, 24 satellites launched, a booster landing on its 16th flight, and yet another notch in a record-breaking year. May appear routine, but it symbolizes much more. It highlights Falcon 9's unmatched pace, the growing maturity of reusable rockets, and Starlink's rise into a massive constellation now nearing 8,500 satellites. These milestones together reveal how quickly orbital infrastructure is evolving. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like share, and subscribe. Your support keeps these explorations going.